Today, with the assistance of our friend and ally, the People's Republic of China, we are able to commission a 30 megawatt power generation plant that stands as a symbol of achievement and success. Ladies and gentlemen, a few moments ago, at the commencement of this ceremony, we listened attentively, and some of us joined in the singing of the national anthem of Antigua and Barbuda. We all affirmed that we are all sons and daughters standing strong and firm in peace or danger. For me, as a citizen of Antigua and Barbuda, to be a son of this nation means that I am required to work in the interest of my brothers and sisters and comrades in peacetime and in time of war and adversity. For me, as the chief servant of Antigua and Barbuda, and as the pilot of the governing administration, being a son of this nation means that I am required, indeed, we all are required, to make decisions and work in an effort to build new foundations for sustained and lasting economic growth and development of this nation. As you are quite aware, getting to this point of commissioning a new power plant was not an easy task. However, my administration acted boldly and forged onward to this point. It would be remiss of me if I did not pay tribute to Ambassador David Shaw for remaining focused despite the odds, and to seeing this project to an end. Thank you very much, Mr. Ambassador. <laughs> Commendation must also go to Ambassador Lu and Ambassador Chen before him, who stood firmly with government in ensuring that we are able to realize our dream of erecting our own power generation plants. The board and management of APUA must also be commended. I wish to, however, state that our work is not yet over. The provision of electrical power is not cheap and has been a source of serious concern for the government and people. We have suffered tremendously due to inadequate services during part to limited power capacity and certain leakages in the system. Over the years, we have been able to bring some relief with a purchase arrangement with the Antigua Power Company, a private power supply entity. This arrangement with APC will continue where necessary, and the addition of the 30 megawatt plant will not only lend to increasing power capacity by APUA, but in the long term, with the price of fuel hopefully falling on the international market, consumers should see a decrease in their electricity charges. <laughs> the noises coming from the opponents of this project have been long and loud. We persisted, however, and today we are demonstrating that despite everything, it is all about the people of Antigua and Barbuda. It's all about our national asset base and empowering our people to manage our main energy source. Ladies and gentlemen, the United Progressive Party is about putting people first and defending our nation and its national assets. My government Government is about empowering the people of Antigua and Barbuda to take control and manage our economic and social development. The 30 megawatt power plant is a gift from the People's Republic of China. And I say gift because of the concessionary loan arrangements that we have entered into with the Exim Bank of China. 
The Chinese government, through the Exim Bank, following a request by the government of Antigua and Barbuda, granted a U.S. $43 million concessionary loan at a 2% interest rate per annum for the construction of this new power plant here at Crabs. This loan arrangement has a maturity period of 20 years with a five-year grace period. If that is not a gift, what is? What is? And it gives us an opportunity down the road to enter into further arrangements with the Chinese in relation to this very loan. And you know, there's such a thing as write-off and rescheduling and so on and so on. As Prime Minister of Antigua and Barbuda, and the leader of the United Progressive Party, which holds the People First philosophy sacred, I would have failed in my duty in living up to the oath of office I took on the morning of March 25th, 2004, and again on March 10th, 2009, that I will conscientiously, impartially, and to the best of my ability, discharge my duties, yes. and do right to all manner of people without fear or favor, yes. affection or ill will. <laughs> Requesting and accepting the concessionary loan from the People's Republic of China was doing the right thing. It was right then, and it remains right today.